Welcome to DevKit Weekly, where this week we'll be reviewing the Advantech ARC 1250L. We're taking it to the next level on this week's DevKit Weekly. What's the next level, you ask? Well, it's an industrial-grade, deployment-ready box PC, of course. The Advantech ARC 1250L is a fanless box PC based on 11th generation Intel Core i3 or i5 processors with two or four cores, integrated Intel Iris Xe graphics, and dual channel memory slots that support up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 SODIMM RAM. This one in particular features a quad core Core i5 that clocks at 1.5 gigahertz, TPM 2.0, and boots a 256-bit AMI EFI BIOS on startup. This initializes a Windows 10 Enterprise OS, as well as a slew of I.O. conveniently located on the front panel of the box where industrial engineers can access it quickly and easily in harsh environments. The interfaces include three USB 3.2 and three USB 2.0, three LAN ports that deliver up to 10 megabytes per second, to 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet with the help of Intel i219 and i225 ethernet controllers. There's also an 8-bit programmable digital I.O. terminal, both an HDMI 2.0 and VGA port for dual display support, an audio jack with mic in line out signaling enabled by a Realtek ALC888S HD audio codec, and of course, four serial ports for RS-232, 422, and 485 with auto flow control, which temporarily stops data transfers and prevents buffer overflows that could result in data loss during critical field bus communications. The ARC 1250L also supports an optional CAN bus if needed. And if you do need to expand on the platform with peripherals and add-ons, you can take advantage of the 2.5 inch SATA 3 drive bay full-size mini PCIe slot that doubles to accept mSATA, and an M.2 receptacle for integrating wireless connectivity via an external 2230E key or 2280B key. All of these interfaces are obviously plug and play and set in this aluminum housing that helps the ARC 1250L deal with essentially any environment you can throw at it. The box PC is certified to the IEC's 6068227 and 6006264, capable of withstanding 3 Gs of random vibration and 30 Gs of shock. And it can operate over negative 30 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius and at up to 95% humidity without breaking a sweat. But if you're the micromanaging type, you may want to look over your ARC 1250L shoulder from afar. Depending on how heavy-handed you are, you can use the remote switch connector to power the device on and off once you've attached a cable, or you can make use of Advantech's device on iEdge app that enables remote development, monitoring, management, optimization of industrial equipment, accessible via a user-friendly interface containing a reaction rule engine and dashboard for alerts and notifications. Device on iEdge integrates seamlessly with equipment and its temperature, humidity, voltage, current, particulate matter sensors over Modbus, OPC UA, or custom protocols that can be connected via an SDK to provide remote insights into a system and its environment. It contains a web access and SCADA tool with more than 400 drivers to help plant operators ingest as much field data as possible, which can then be visualized in a built-in Grafana dashboard for real-time monitoring and historical tracking, all without connecting to a server. That being said, you can connect it to a database or server or Azure, AWS, or Kubernetes microservices, if you wish, where things like data flows and pre-processing can be configured using the stupidly simple Node-RED programming tool. Device on iEdge, along with Acronis backup and McAfee security software, can be exploited via programmable APIs to set up multi-level watchdogs, hardware monitors, system restorers, and other safety, security, and reliability features on the Advantech Box PC in no time. After that, and when you're ready to deploy, you just connect the ARC 1250L to a 12 to 24 volt DC ATX AT power input. But if one of those isn't available, you may still be in luck as there's a 90 watt AC to DC power adapter built in. From there, you can mount the platform on either a wall or a DIN rail. If you'd like to get your hands on one of these, which is surprisingly lighter than you might think, you can order it from the Advantech online store for $1,575.
Of course, if you're on a tight holiday budget like us and can't afford to splurge, you can try your luck in this week's raffle and you may just win this one for free. We'll even pay the shipping. That's it for this week's Dev Kit Weekly, and if you're ready to take your prototyping to the next level, why not take it all the way with a deployment-ready box PC like the industrial-grade Advantech Arc 1250L. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. For more content from Embedded Computing Design, including behind-the-scenes footage, raffles, giveaways, and just cool stuff that we're doing in general, visit us on social at the links provided in the bio below.